Now that we have gone through and spell checked our document, or we've um, completed a story within our document, I want to show you another trick here in uh, InDesign that you can do to quickly make edits or changes within your story or text that you have. That's called the Find Change, and it's located under the Edit menu, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Control F to bring it up. And what we want to do here, I know that within this document I have an incredible habit of uh, making the INC and incorporated all capitals. So I want to come in here and find what's all capital and just change it to the appropriate case of doing that. Now there's a few options before I start here that I want to go over so that you're familiar with them. One, uh, what we're searching for is a find what. So we find any uh, set of characters or words within our document and change to is where we can specify what we want to change it to. Now in doing that we have the ability to do that to all open documents. So here I'm in a new document. If I select all documents it's also going to do it for the Chase Sky Harbor offering memorandum. But for this I'm just going to choose the current document. And it's important to note that that only applies to the documents that you currently have open. So it doesn't mean all documents that are on your network or on your computer. The next thing we have under here are a few options and they don't have words under them so it's important to hover your mouse over them and if you hover your mouse over them then they will show the keyboard shortcut explaining what those icons are and these icons can really become useful especially the last two here which shows you which is case sensitive and whatnot so um, we can also specify a certain format. So if we have a character or paragraph style or format, then we'd be able to change that as well. If we switch over to grep, grep is kind of like a coding language. You'll probably never use it. Um, but in the ability or in the event that you did speak geekish, then you could use utilize that. If we needed to change a glyph, like if you used a trademark or copyright symbol somewhere, uh, perhaps you used a trademark symbol, should have been a right symbol or a copyright symbol, um, specify the family or the font family that you may have used, specify the style, the Unicode, the glyph, I mean it really boils or gets down into it. You can also change the format of an object to apply another format to that object. And we can also specify symbols, markers, hyphens and dashes, white spaces, quotation marks, character breaks. So let's say if it was something like the Apple symbol, which you can often find in several fonts, uh, or the trademark or copyright, and you didn't necessarily know the keyboard shortcut to it then you could select this little icon off to the side to find that keyboard shortcut. So what I'm going to do for this is now that I've selected ink and then ink I'm going to go change all and once it has gone through there we can see that it has made eight replacements and I'll go ahead and click OK and then we, there we can see that it's made one of those replacements. So. If, since I know that this is a habit of mine that I tend to do using the capital letters, I can save this preset to ink to ink and click OK. So the next time uh, that I create a document or any sort of uh, text utilizing that, that even after I do my spell checking or maybe even before, especially if I'm using auto spell check, uh, then I can come in and, and as part of my proof reading uh, that, that I normally should do for a document, then I can choose this specific preset. Which, by the way, if you bring out this 
menu, you'll notice that there are some common presets in here, dash to en dash and that sort of thing uh, that, that you can automatically search for. So if you select one, then it kind of fills that in under the grep, multiple space to space, and so forth. So multiple options here, but the key thing to remember is that if you have a habit like I do, where, or you know, even like the spell checker, where the spell checker suggested Trammel be spelled with one L, uh, you can go through your entire document ensuring that it is spelled correctly uh, in literally one click of your document.